Hey there awesome people, how are you guys doing? So this is your Vbro from Tech Week, and so today in this video we'll be discussing about the best way to make a bootable USB drive. Well the software they'll be using today is a free software called Ventoy. And you must be thinking, like Rufus is the best tool to make a bootable drive. And yes, I do agree on it, but the main reason for me to use Ventoy is that it enables you to boot more than one ISO from a single USB drive. But before moving forward, I would like to mention that only 1.7% of you guys are really subscribed to my channel. So if this is the first time you're watching my videos, please do consider subscribing to my channel as it means the world to me. Alright, so in order to download this amazing tool, check the description box down below. Okay, so after you have downloaded this tool, make sure you extract it on a location that you would remember. For extracting, of course, you'll be needing WinRAR or 7-zip, so yeah, make sure it is there installed inside your computer. For me, I'll be using WinRAR and I'll extract it onto my desktop so that I can find it pretty much quickly. After you have extracted, open up the Ventoy folder. At this moment of me making this video, the version of Ventoy is 1.0.43. For you, it might be different, so it's okay, you don't need to worry about anything. Now, open up Ventoy to disk.exe, which is this. There you can see it says devices, which is blank. That's because I haven't plugged in any of my USB drive. So right now what you need to do is just plug in your USB drive and then click on refresh icon which is right here. Now you can see the USB drive is showing under the devices and make sure it is the right drive because everything inside the drive will be formatted and you will use all your data. For me, I have this 16 GB HP USB drive and I'll be using it for this process. After you have selected your drive, go to Option and then turn on Secure Boot Support. Also make sure you go to Partition Style and select MBR. After these steps, click on the Install button and then press Yes and Yes again. After this, your drive will be formatted and all the files will be deleted. So make sure if you have anything inside the hard drive, make sure you back up all the files inside it. Now, you can see it has completed successfully and you can see Ventoy in device version is same as Ventoy in package. This means that the process is done correctly and you have successfully created the bootable drive. Now you just need to paste in your favorite ISO files inside the USB drive. For this video, I'll be using this Windows 10 installation ISO, but you can basically use any of the ISOs you want to boot into uh, the, your computer using this free tool. Just you need to paste in your ISOs into the root of your drive, and that's it. That's the main benefit of using Ventoy to create a bootable USB drive. Now you can also see here that Ventoy supports more than 700 plus ISOs. So that means whatever ISO files that you're using, Ventoy will most probably support it and boot it for you inside your computer. Before ending the video, I would also like to mention that if the drive is not booting up inside your computer, make sure you disable secure boot and then try this process again. You can find secure boot option inside the BIOS of your computer. Well, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. If you really love this video, please do consider subscribing to my channel. As you already know that only 1.7% of you guys are subscribed to my channel. So it would just mean the world to me. That's it, guys. Have a great day. God bless you all. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Cheers.